Good evening, St. Luke's friends and family. I am the Reverend Tony Johns, Executive Director at Crossroads Community Ministries at St. Luke's, and it's an honor and privilege to be able to share this Compline with you this evening. You can find the service bulletin for Compline on our website at stlukesatlanta.org by clicking on the Compline link and then following the service bulletin link on the next page. You'll also find this in the Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 127. Or if you do not have a Book of Common Prayer, you can go to bcponline.org and find it there. And so join me as we share this time of prayer and meditation. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now a reading from Psalm 134 and 135. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Alleluia, praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. You who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises to his name, for it is lovely. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. The Lord does whatever pleases him, in heaven and on earth, in the seas and in all the deeps. He brings up rain clouds from the ends of the earth. He sends out lightning with the rain and brings the winds out of his storehouses. It was he who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, the firstborn both of man and beast. He sent signs and wonders into the midst of you, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. He overthrew many nations and put mighty kings to death. Sion, king of the Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He gave their land to be an inheritance, an inheritance for Israel, his people. O Lord, your name is everlasting. Your renown, O Lord, endures from age to age. For the Lord gives his people justice and shows compassion to his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes have they, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Neither is there any breath in their mouth. Those who make them are like them, and so are all who put their trust in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, who dwells in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now a reading from the epistle of Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law, 
weakened by the flesh, could not do, by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and to deal with sin. He condemned sin in the flesh so that the just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the things of the spirit. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. For this reason, the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. You are in the Spirit, since the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is life because of righteousness. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now join me as we say the prayer our Savior taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God, seeing as there is in Christ Jesus an infinite fullness of all that we can want or desire, may we all receive from him grace upon grace, grace to pardon our sins and subdue our iniquities, to justify our persons and to sanctify our souls, and to complete that holy change, that renewal of our hearts, which will enable us to be transformed into the blessed image in which you created us. O oh, make us all acceptable to be partakers of the inheritance of your saints in light. Almighty God, who pours out on all who desire it the spirit of grace and of supplication, deliver us when we draw near to you from coldness of heart and wandering of mind, that with steadfast thought and kindled affection, we may worship you in spirit and in truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. O oh, great love, Thank you for living and loving in us and through us. May all that we do flow from our deep connection with you and all beings. Help us become a community that vulnerably shares each other's burdens and the weight of glory. Listen to our heart's longings for the healing of our world. Knowing you are hearing us better than we are speaking, we offer these prayers in all the holy names of God, amen. And now I invite you where you are in your heart and mind and spirit to share your prayers and your thanksgivings to God. Let us pray. Almighty God, maker of heaven and earth, we welcome your presence with us and in us, connecting us, no matter the distance, through that spirit which you have poured out upon all flesh. 
Guard us tonight. Guide us tonight with your light. Teach us, Lord, by your Spirit, who is our teacher. For those who are sick, we pray your healing. For those who mourn, we pray your comfort. For those who struggle, we pray your strength. For those who long, we pray your fulfillment. And for those who rejoice, we rejoice together with them in all the goodness that you have given, knowing that your salvation comes often through suffering that leads to life. Give us that life, Lord God, and heal our wounds, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Now join me as we say, guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us tonight and forever. Amen. Amen.